the number two team in the country for now and the most watched YouTube flash mob moment of the week. Number two Kansas today hosting Iowa State at historic Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence. And good afternoon, everyone. Coast to coast on the Big 12 Network. I'm Mitch Holtis along with Stephen Howard. Wisconsin is on the verge of beating undefeated Ohio State. Stephen, that would put Kansas number one in the country. You're right, Mitch. They could go on Big Monday at K-State, number one in the country. That'll be huge. Now, you have an interesting star watch for Kansas. It's not one of the Morris twins. You're right. Brady Morningstar has been playing out of his mind during conference play. The last six games, he's been shooting 62% from the field, 57% from three, giving the Morris twins plenty of room to operate on the block. And Deontay Garrett does everything for this team because he has to. He's increased his scoring nine points from last year and is in the argument of one of the top guards in the Big 12. Here's the lineup for Iowa State. Now, a lot of Carmack smiles on these guys. They've played a lot of minutes, real short bench for Fred Hoiberg. Christofferson can light it up from three. So can Vanderbeeken. This is the number one shooting team in America, the Kansas Jayhawks, the Morris Twins, the best duo in a long, long time in college basketball, brother duo. Reed can light it up. You mentioned Morningstar. Tyshawn Taylor's the only guy that didn't shoot it well in their big Monday route of the Missouri Tigers. Another huge sellout crowd. They've sold at every game here since early in the 2000s. And once they get the score announced here, if Wisconsin can't hang on, they're already amped up. If they find out that Ohio State lost to Wisconsin, the lid will come off this place. But honestly, Mitch, this team really doesn't need any extra incentive to win. Coach Self's got them amped up. They're ready to go. Can Iowa State compete today? It is a final. Ohio State has lost. They have lost at the Kohl Center to Wisconsin. So previously unbeaten Ohio State, that's modest team goes down to defeat. Now, listen, Iowa State has won here three times since the formation of the Big 12. They're the only Big 12 team that has won here more than once. Kansas has only lost eight home games in the history of the Big 12. Three of them have been to Iowa State. And you can be guaranteed, Mitch, that Coach Self has told them about that. But if you look historically at those Iowa State teams that have been able to win, they've had point guards like Jamal Tinsley in the past that could get to the bucket, not pressured by the KU guards, just like Deontay Garrett. So this team has the talent to do that on cue the Kansas point guard Tyshawn Taylor knocks down his first shot Christopherson read out on him and, and, it, and if you look at Iowa State that's a guy that they're going to dare to shoot if Tyshawn Taylor can beat you from the perimeter then so be it one thesis of this afternoon Stephen will be Kansas defensively if there's something the big thing that Bill Self's upset with his team about is a three knocked down immediately by Jake Anderson of Iowa State is the fact that they have not defended well. Only one team in the league have they defended at 60 points or less and they nearly lost that game at home to Nebraska. This afternoon for Kansas is all about defending. Well, you're right. If you're looking at practice yesterday and shoot around today, Coach Self has been revving this team up like a high-powered engine. You can tell that they are ready to just explode. He wants to make sure that their focus is on defense and not on the offensive end of the court. Last year, Kansas held two Big 12 teams under 60 points. Two years ago, four different conference teams under 60. Iowa State, in fact, had 79 in the game at Ames. Vanderbeek and able to get big on Little against Morningstar to get his first bucket. And that's probably going to be one of the few painted area shots Vanderbeek is going to shoot all day. He's a guy that's much more comfortable beyond the arc. Morningstar inside out, offline. But Morningstar hustles and saves the possession for Kansas. And that's what Morningstar does. He does whatever this team needs. Huge rebound, facilitating a nice kick-out shot to Marquise Morris. He's unselfless. So Marcus Morris with the three. He is first in the Big 12 in field goal shooting percentage of 61%. He's 35 from three, and Marquise has hit seven of his last nine from three. It's not even fair, as good as those guys are underneath. That's an air ball with a toe on the line from Edgel. And this is the pace that Kansas wants. They want to get the rebound, get up and go, and try to score in their secondary fast break. And Marquise says if Marcus can do it. There he goes again. Brady Morningstar always around the basketball, always making positive plays for his team. And travels, and that's big news. That's only his ninth turnover in Big 12 play total. He's got 37 assists. 
This afternoon's Big 12 Network game brought to you in stunning high definition. But Morningstar, another little piece of news on him as Kansas tries to bring the pressure and Garrett misses the layup. And those are layups that Iowa State has to make. You've got to get those easy points. But back to Morningstar, he hasn't had a turnover in the last two games. His first, he went 38 minutes without a turnover. That is unbelievable. A very efficient player. And he had seven assists against Missouri. Tyrell Reed, like an ATM machine from that point. It is straight money. He had five against Texas in that loss here, but Reed now with 49 makes from three. And you got to realize Reed is playing with somewhat of a gimp foot, and you got a guy like that stepping out, hitting threes like money on a bad foot. The man is going to make for a long day for Iowa State. Kansas leading 10 to 5. Headed for the under 16 timeout. Edgem's going to try it again. Edgem, rather, and misses off the back iron. The freshman, Melvin Edgem from Canada. And Kansas trying to use the long rebound to get an early offensive look. And this will be on Edgem. And the first foul on Iowa State. This might be the national coach of the year over the last six years. He's been here eight years, but over the last six, they've won six Big 12 championships in a row. Well, when you talk about Kansas, you almost have to talk about consistency in that same sentence, which is the way they play, winning 23 games in 22 straight seasons. That's just amazing. Vander Beacon hits a three, and Jeff Malum is not only going to count the basket, he is going to call a foul on Marcus Morris underneath, trying to get position on the rebound. And Vander Beacon shooting a deep three. That's his 12th career three against KU. And that one was way out there. He had 19 against Kansas and Ames in January. Well, and that's what the recipe they're looking for success with Iowa State. They want to run Deontay Garrett off of pick and rolls and then step Vander Beacon out, knock down threes just like that. They also would like to use some clock here on the half court if they could to try to reduce possessions in this game if they can. Well, talking to the coaching staff, they want to run when they have the opportunity, but you're right, Mitch. When they don't have fast break opportunities, they want to milk the clock and get the shot that they want. Garrett loves to use the high ball screen, and Edgem throws it away. Turnover for Iowa State. They got to keep those down if they have any kind of chance this afternoon against Kansas, who could be number one at day's end. Now, this from your friends at Phillips 66. Make a U turn as soon as possible. Make a U turn as soon as possible. Oh, okay. Turn right in 500 feet. Where are you taking turn me? Right. But we're, turn we're, right. I did make a. Turn okay, right. to. Turn uh, right. Turn right. Huh. Phillips 66. Right. Listen to your car. It'll tell you it wants the hardworking gas from Phillips 66. Specially formulated to clean fuel injectors, reduce emissions, and above all, help maximize mileage with every tank. Make your car very happy and help maximize mileage with Phillips 66. Hardworking gas. Valentine's Day. A tradition that lets us show our love to those closest to us. This Valentine's Day, give the sweetest of American traditions. The Whitman Sampler Heart. Whitman's, an American tradition since 1842. YP lets you do less searching and more living. YP.com. Click less, live more. Doug Bell from Studio 66. Check out the final seconds. Wisconsin and number one, Ohio State. The Buckeyes will dribble it out. Watch the crowd. Badgers made 12 three-pointers. They won 71-67. Last time they beat a number one team, 1962, when a guy named Bob Knight was reserve on the Buckeyes. Mitch, Steven? Doug, and they just announced that score here at Allen Fieldhouse, and the place went up in a roar. Jordan Taylor in that game, 21 for Wisconsin in the second half. They led, or Ohio State led that game by 15 with 13 minutes to go and lose by four to the Badgers, opening the door for the Kansas Jayhawks to be number one in the country by the day's end at the Kohl Center 
You don't want to go there if you're number one and undefeated in the country because Wisconsin has slayed many, many giants in that building. Well, I was going to say if Ohio State won that game, then they deserve to be number one more than any team in America. And it just shows it doesn't matter how you start the game. It matters how you finish late game execution. Huge in that loss for Ohio State. Kansas turns it over off Maury a little. Now, here's what you were alluding to at the outset of the broadcast. Listen, Thomas Robinson is injured. He had knee surgery yesterday, a torn meniscus, and his right knee is going to miss two weeks. So the bench sub position in this game initially goes to Mario Little. They set down Marcus Morris, and Mario Little gets the post minutes. This would normally be Thomas Robinson in, in the post for KU. And you're right, Mitch, but it really goes well for the matchup against Vanderbeek and a guy that plays on the outside, and, and Little is really a, a guard who can play on the inside. The last game had 17 points, three for three from the three, so he's very adept at playing against Vanderbeek and out on the perimeter. Christofferson in the break, missing the three. After Garrett made a nifty defensive play on the other end. The other player missing, Josh Selby. The top recruit in the country last year coming to Kansas had to set out the first portion of the schedule and missing again is another game with an injured ankle as Tyshawn Taylor has got five. He was four of 14 against Missouri shooting it way better to start this game for Kansas are up five. We are talking about Josh Selby. You look at Brady Morningstar and there's a lot of people uh, Big 12 coaches especially that think this team runs a lot more efficiently with Morningstar out there and they'd rather have Selby running because you got a, a freshman who's still trying to prove himself and Morningstar is a guy that just plays for this team. That's why they run better with him out on the court. Marquis Morris great positioning inside and you just saw with that play Morningstar waiting for the play to develop waiting for the Morris to in the get position and just give him a great pass on the post. Quick shot by Iowa State, but a chance for a stick back and edge him. With an ill-advised shot, had a chance to reset the offense and run some clock. And that's been one of the problems with Edge, and he's had problems. As you see, Marquis hitting the huge three. Has had problems scoring against the bigs around the basket. And you saw in that last play for Iowa State, uh, the Morris Twins are just too big, too tough down low. Here are your injured Jayhawks. Selby again with a stress reaction in the right ankle, not a fracture, a reaction in the right ankle. And then Thomas Robinson yesterday, knee surgery on crutches. He had surgery yesterday, but a torn meniscus. They think they'll get him back in two weeks. And he, of course, has been a national story. He lost his mother just a couple of weeks ago after losing his grandparents in a span of just weeks. And of course, this entire program grieved for Thomas Robinson. Now he's got the knee injury, but when he has played, he has been highly productive for Bill Self. 51 offensive rebounds, almost the same as the Morris Twins, and yet he doesn't play nearly the minutes. He only averages 18 minutes a game. Well, when you talk about offensive rebounds, that is all heart in, a de in determination, and that's what Thomas Robinson brings to this ball club. And when you got a team that's playing for something, they're already playing for a championship, but now they're playing for Thomas Robinson. That is a deadly combination for visiting teams in Allen Fieldhouse. Another deadly combination is Markeith Morris. Eight of his last 11 from three-point range. Well, I was going to say, when you talked about Josh Selby with a stress reaction, isn't that what you think coaches get when they <laughs> come, when they see KU on the schedule? I'm having a stress reaction. Edgem goes out with the black shot by Whitney. And this is another guy that has to factor in to Thomas Robinson's absence. He has got to give them productive minutes off the bench. Well, looking back to this block, he just times it perfectly, stays away from the body, blocks it out of bounds. And when you get your complimentary players coming in, playing big for you like that, that's what makes Kansas so dangerous. Whitney transferred in from Arizona. And Christofferson. The extra pass and edge him underneath with an easy stick back. And that last play really typifies the way Iowa State plays. They want to get into the pennant area, create the defense to create to contract and then kick it out to their wide open three players. But those players must knock down those shots in order for Iowa State to win today. Iowa State has problems rebounding the ball. In fact, they've been out rebounded 15 times this year. Kansas just the opposite. They've out rebounded 20 of 24 opponents, but you don't get many rebounds when you make every shot. And Mario Little continues to sizz for Kansas. They have shot 50 percent or better the last five games. And they're shooting 62 percent to start this game. 
Leading 20 to 10, headed for the under 12 timeout. Vanderbeek can open underneath. And with he loses Vanderbeek in inside. Well, and that's a very good play for Iowa State, using that height advantage of Vanderbeek and down on the post, a place where he normally doesn't like to camp out at. Kansas takes no time to answer. Taylor's got seven. The only average is nine. And, and that's one thing that Iowa State talked about is getting back in defensive transition. Kansas can really hurt you if you don't or if you're not aware of how quickly they can get back on offense. Well, the lob worked once. But it doesn't work the second time as Edgem is offline on his pass. Well, you can just tell that Iowa State isn't used to posting Vanderbeeken up. Vanderbeeken really isn't used to sealing and creating that space down low. So that's not a, a pass that they're normally used to giving to the big fella. The mayor is back, and the city council meeting is on every time Iowa State plays. He was a fabulous player at Iowa State, a 10-year career in the NBA, a front office executive in the NBA, and now brought in as Iowa State's head coach. But the mayor is one of the most popular and one of the best players in Iowa State history. Well, and you can really see how he's brought back that Hilton magic. One of the first coaches to start 6-0. Only three coaches have done that for Iowa State. But he's done a real good job of bringing that magic, that excitement back to Iowa State. Reed missing, usually shooting from the outside, trying to take it off the bounce. Iowa State has been so close. Vanderbeek and trailing again in transition. A lot of quick threes for Iowa State. So far early in this game, Kansas leading by 10 and a little, a little anxious that time, and Morningstar nearly able to keep it alive again. Boo Boo Palo now in for Iowa State. Christofferson and a foul on Kansas. 11.09 to go in the first half. Your future number one Kansas Jayhawks, if they can win this game, leading by 10. We're willing to bet that whatever's going on in your kitchen right now doesn't hold a candle to what's going on in ours. The good thing is, what's ours is yours. What a burger! Just like you like it. Over 20 million customers have put their faith in Sun Life Financial. We should be a household name, and we will be. So you're suggesting that we change our name from Florida the Sunshine State to... Florida yeah. the Sun Life State. The posters will be so cool. Sooner or later, you'll know our name. Sun Life Financial. Enjoy a complete seafood dinner for two for just $29.99 at Red Lobster. With fresh salads and biscuits, your choice of entrees, and an appetizer or a dessert to share. And soon at Red Lobster. Five oceans. Seven continents. Whatever it takes. Wherever it takes us. America's Navy. A global force for good. There's no force like the one that comes from joining forces. No strength like strength in numbers. The kind of numbers delivered by Ram 1500, a 390 horsepower Hemi V8, 20 MPG, a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. Strength in numbers, now during Ram Truck Month. Get 6560 in total values with a no extra charge Hemi V8 on Ram 1500 Crew Cab Lone Star Edition. Today's Big 12 Network game is brought to you by Phillips 66, hardworking gas. By Whataburger, just like you like it. Sun Life Financial, annuities, employee benefits, life insurance. Shelter Insurance, we're your shield, we're your shelter. Sonic, America's drive-in. And by Chick-fil-A. Cue the move, we didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. Allen Fieldhouse, Dr. Fog Allen. Over three decades of coaching played here as well. 22 12 Kansas, number two team in the country with four three pointers so far, shooting 51% from the field. Mm -hmm. 
But if you're Iowa State, Stephen, you live. Well, there's Morningstar again. I was talking to him yesterday. I'm so impressed. Not only his on-ball defense, but off the ball. He said the 08 redshirt year. He said, that's when I learned I better learn how to defend or I'm not going to play at this level. But he was defending Sharon Collins and Mario Chalmers every day at practice. Markeith trailing on the break. Markeith Morrison, he'll get free throws. Well, and that's one thing that Iowa State is doing a poor job of early on in this game. They're turning the rock over in their poor turnovers because they're not dead ball turnovers. That's allowing Kansas to get out in the fast break in efficient manner. Got to take care of the rock. Markeith Morris, 67% for the year. But you see, leads the Big 12 in rebounding. It was just 5 of 11 against Iowa State in Ames. But he has had the year of improvement that his twin brother Marcus Morris had last year, according to Bill Self. And I really think during conference play, Markeith has closed the gap between he and his brother Marcus Morris, now able to do a lot of those same things from the perimeter to hit the three. You know he's an exceptional rebounder. Last game against Missouri, he had three block shots. So with both of them, it's just a dominating tandem. He's going to get a redemption toss here after a lane violation on Iowa State. But back to Morningstar. Again, if there's one thing Bill Self wants to stress here in the last three or four weeks of the regular season is the defensive effort. But Morningstar is good both on the ball and off the ball. But he said that redshirt year made all the difference for him. Well, yeah, as you said, Mitch, he's going against... NBA caliber players day in and day out and if you don't come with your A game in practice you're going to get embarrassed and berated by coach self you don't want to make that happen so he excelled raised the level of his game and you can see it by the way he's played this year Iowa State trying to stay on Google Earth here they trail by 13 and trying to hang tough edge of real tough shot and Kansas is going to get it in the break zone, Kansas has extended its lead to 13. A reminder, Phillips 66 is proud to be presenting sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Next time you're on empty, fill up with Phillips 66 gasoline. Specially formulated to clean fuel injectors. Increase performance and above all, help maximize mileage. Phillips 66, hardworking gas. Marcus Morris, great two-man game, and gets the roll. He and Taylor team up. Marcus Morris has five. The Twins have combined for 13. And you see in that last play how patient Kansas is. Marcus Morris got the rock, kicked it out twice, got better positioning. Then he got it where he wanted it. Nice fadeaway on the block for an easy bucket for one of the Twins. Not sure what Rayleigh was doing, the freshman from Oregon. Iowa State has had some shady or some questionable shot selection here of late. Tyshawn Taylor steps a. Well, let's, let's go back to that last shot with Marcus Morris on the block, showing you how to trust your teammates. Nice kick out to Tyshawn Taylor. Gets it. Nice spot. Nice turnaround jumper over his right shoulder. And that just shows the efficiency of Kansas. You trust your teammates. You know if you give it up in a certain situation, you will get it back. That's why this team is so dominating on the offensive end. What do you think Bill Self thinks of the defense so far? I think this is what he wanted with the way that he was practicing the last couple of days, the way that he talked to them during shoot around. This is the level they need to have if they want to go to where they want to at the end of the season in the big dance. Marquise Morris changing the shot of Jake Anderson. And trailing is Marcus Morris. And a good hustle play by Vanderbeeken. And the strength of Marcus Moore gets it to the pocket. Elijah Johnson and a chance for a three-point play. And Iowa State has an injury. They are so thin, Stephen. They do not need this at all. We're, we're looking at this play. This is what makes this almost an impossible feat to beat this team. When you have your star diving onto the floor, nice pass to Elijah Johnson. And... You have the selfless acts by this team that just shows the exceptional ability. And then you have one of the Iowa State players going onto the floor with the, an apparent injury. 
but Vander Beacon would be a huge loss for this team. Really the only big man that Iowa State has. If you look at the five main players for Iowa State they have played just an inordinate amount of minutes. If number one in the league is Deontay Garrett he leads the Big 12 in minutes played he has had several games this year he's played six times he's played all 40 minutes Vander Beek in the same way. When and you look at this it looked like he mm. just landed awkwardly on that left ankle trying to challenge the shot of Elijah Johnson and those are just those freak occurrences that happen during the game but talking to the coaching staff of Iowa State before the game they felt that Vander Beacon would have to play 30 plus minutes to give them an opportunity against one of the deeper frontline teams in the Big 12 and him going out with the ankle injury that just makes an impossible task. <laughs> What's the word after impossible. Mitch? I don't know. It's, there's not a word for it. I don't think go to Wikipedia quick <laughs> but that's 40. He played 41 minutes against Oklahoma and I mean they just Vander Beacon Anderson Garrett Christofferson Edgem well, these guys have to play like 33 to 35 minutes every night. Well not only minutes but that's the major cog in their offensive system is Deontay Garrett attacking the paint kicking it out to Vander Beacon drawing the Morris twins out of the paint w without him in the lineup they don't have a big man with an ability to shoot the three like Vander Beacon on their roster. In fact he and Christofferson are the second best duo in the nation in shooting threes they've combined coming into this game for 123 threes and Vander Beacon's got one today before his injury. And that's why if you're coach Ho Hoiberg you don't mind when they come down and shoot a quick three because if they get on that's going to be your only shot of staying in the game with Kansas. This was 10 to 8 at one point. Now it's 30 to 12 Kansas. After Elijah Johnson's three point play. And you sub Vander Beacon with Jordan Raley a guy that man doesn't do much from the three only taking two three pointers he's one for two a guy that's not going to be able to stand out on the perimeter against the Morris twins and shoot. But look at Jake Anderson. One year here at Iowa State after playing his first three of eligibility at Northern Illinois in the match. When you look at that whole starting lineup of Iowa State, they're really playing out of position. Scott Christofferson really is your sixth man coming off the bench shooting threes. Jake Anderson played the one at Northern Illinois. Marvin Ejim is really a, a three playing the four. They're just making the best of the situation that they have. Kansas struggled a little bit early on defense, but since the under 16 timeout, and now Garrett backs himself into a corner and pleads with Scott Thornley for a timeout. It's a team called 30 second timeout for Fred Hoiberg in Iowa State. Let's get to know one of the impact freshmen of the Big 12, presented by Sun Life Financial Annuities, employee benefits, and life insurance. Melvin Edgem. This was a good get for Iowa State. One of the Canadians playing in the Big 12. There are several. But Edgem, 11.7 rebounds, four double doubles, and uh, on the top five list in Iowa State history. Yeah, not only that, but whenever you have a freshman coming in and be 10th in the Big 12 and rebounding as a freshman, that just shows that this guy has a very high skill level, very high ceiling as far as what he could accomplish in years to come for Iowa State. This team could look very different next year. They have Chris Allen from Michigan State transferring in, Anthony Booker from Southern Illinois, Royce White from Minnesota, Chris Babb from Penn State for Fred Hoiberg, all set to transfer, have already transferred and setting out this year and then Corey Lucius it's a dangerous inbounds pass it's like in soccer kicking it toward the other goal. Well talking to the coaching staff about their transfers uh, some of the coaches said that Chris Allen from Michigan State is the best player that coach Luke the assistant coach has ever been around and so you're looking at the second and third options are sitting on the bench not able to play as transferred for Iowa State. Deontay Garrett whose dad Dick Garrett a great NBA player and won the NIT at Southern Illinois for the late Jack Hartman played with Walt Frazier there was that option so he just launched it. and Kansas has it back and Reed usually hits this Iowa State got a hand in his face nice job by the Cyclones 18 point lead for the second ranked team in the country. And 
Cyclones are working on six minutes without a basket. Good defense by Reed. Sometimes his defense gets underappreciated. Gimp foot getting two blocks. Uh, you know everything's coming together for a basketball team. Kansas has outscored Iowa State 22 to 4 since the 16 minute mark. They are up by 20. Now hear this from your friends at Phillips 66. Your car works hard for you. Give it the fuel it wants. The hard-working gas from Phillips 66, specially formulated to clean fuel injectors, reduce emissions, and above all, help maximize mileage with every tank. Keep your car satisfied and help maximize mileage with Phillips 66, hard-working gas. So what makes these so special? The new Whirlpool Duet has six sense technology, so it senses and adapts to all your laundry needs. How about husbands? Direct inject wash system eliminates pre-treating. Twins? Precision dispense for optimal fabric care. How about this? Quiet Spin 360 technology means you always hear what's going on. I'll take it. Sears introduces the new Whirlpool Duet. It works smarter just like you. Save instantly with free standard delivery in Holloway. Sears. Oh, babe, check this out. Hey, come on. You want a little chippy? You want a Dorito? Are you hungry? Come on and get a Dorito. Don't hurt my dog. Come on, get a tip. Come on, get a tip. Get a tip. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here, that's my Dorito. Hello, ladies. Where can you go when your man smells like me? Close your eyes and I'll show you. Do you feel it? The sand between your toe tips? I do. Surprise! You're on a mountain peak. Why play those sweet shalalas you love to hear? Firework colors turn our world upside down. I hope you like water, because we're neck deep in the sweet waters of friendship and trust. You see, when your man smells like the fresh scents of Old Spice, you can go anywhere. Unless, of course, you prefer to stay in. Kansas leading by 20 with 6.36 to go in the first 20. All season long champion apparel will be showcasing the tradition and history of the Big 12 Conference. Today we look at the term Jayhawk. What is it? 1848, it goes all the way back when Kansas was just being explored basically in a territory referring to settlers passing through the region on the various trails, the Oregon Trail, Santa Fe Trail. The name combines two birds, the Blue Jay, a noisy quarrelsome thing that Rob Ness and the Sparrowhawk, a quiet, stealthy hunter. Well, what it means now is great basketball. A team that won the 08 National Championship, one of five national championships in this great program's history. You walk into this building, it's like a museum. Yeah, you're right. Looking, walking down the hallway, you see all these old pictures of players from past, like Danny Manning, who's on the coaching staff, and you just can't help to just let the history seep in while you're walking around Fog Allen Fieldhouse. Into the line, Marcus Morris. Something we're going to explore as the afternoon goes on is this the best one of the best not only brother duos in the history of Kansas there are one other group of brothers to challenge them but are they the best in college basketball history I don't know but I'm telling you if you look at the numbers we're going to look at it later in the day but it does start an interesting conversation and now Steele Reed takes it away that's nine turnovers for Iowa State they only have 12 in the entire game. And those unforced turnovers by Iowa State are, are what's really killing them early on in this basketball game. And a foul on Kansas as Anderson gets bailed out. And you look at Jake Anderson, a guy that's really not more of a skill guy, more of an effort guy, and, and he's really been a godsend for Iowa State, a, a guy that's a, the leading rebounder for a guard in the Big 12, leading rebounder for the team. Whenever you have a, 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 arguably a point guard as a leading rebounder for your team, that really doesn't bode well for you as a rebounding core. You know it doesn't bode well for film session tomorrow and getting your rear end chewed? Yeah. Allowing a screen the screener play underneath the basket and Jordan Rayleigh gets the easiest two of his Big 12 life. But 
Doesn't matter. Marcus Morris answers, and Kansas continues to hit most every shot. Whenever you watch Marcus Morris play, he, every game will show you almost a clinic of the various moves the basketball player needs to have and should have. It can literally do it all on the court. Really? This one much tougher. Little great spin inside. And a foul on Iowa State. But this is, if we're going to the Bill Self film room, get prepared to get chewed on here. And this is communication. That goes on, Reed. You have to bump Rayleigh and let the big man know, look, there's a picker coming. Marcus Morris did not even feel that pick coming. Reed has to let him know and then bump that picker and not allow Jordan Rayleigh to score on that easy pick cut. That wasn't even a screen the screener. That's just a screen and dive. Yeah, I was just a, you know, little on big, bump the cut it and get out on your man. That's one of those things that Coach Self is going to rewind about five or six times. Just keep it on rewind. Heck of a player at Oklahoma State, native of Edmond, Oklahoma, has won wherever he has been. Started at Oral Roberts, did a great job there. Then to Tulsa, made them Elite Eight. You know that 05 Illinois team that played North Carolina for the national championship was built by Bill Self. And then he's come here and been um, just spectacular. Yeah, he's been kind of good out here. Pretty good. <laughs> he's done his thing. He cranks out 35 win seasons like it's candy. Kansas 5 of 7 at the line. You can see what they're shooting from the field, and that's what they've been doing since the Texas loss. And I think one of the things that sustains the way they play here at Kansas is the, the Coach Self has the same fire that he had the first year he got to Kansas. Fred Oyberg's looking for Advil. Second timeout used by Iowa State, where Deontay Garrett was in the corner and had no friends. Well, you're really seeing the loss of Vanderbeeken with the offensive insecurities of Iowa State. They don't have any identity on the offensive end. They don't have anywhere to go, and, and that's what Coach Holberg is trying to do right now, trying to settle this team down a little bit and try to give them focus on the offensive end. The Phillips 66 Big 12 Men's Basketball Championship returns to Kansas City Sprint Center. It was an event last year. We're expecting the same this year. There are a limited number of all-session tickets available for the general public via ticket lottery. The fans have to register by Sunday. Go to SprintCenter.com. For more info, you can go to Big12Sports.com, but register at SprintCenter.com. Last year, such an awesome atmosphere. It was almost a Final Four type atmosphere. Of course, the Power and Light District around the uh, Sprint Center makes an awesome venue for all the fans of the conference that attend that great postseason event. This was 10 to 8 at one point. A nice move inside, but no finish for Edgem. But he hustles and keeps it alive for Iowa State. And that's a play you can't worry about the style points. You just need a bucket. A nice recovery by Jake Anderson from the perimeter with the knockdown three. And they're still grinding. And that's really all you have to do or you can do against Kansas. You just got to try to stay in the game as long as possible and just try to be within striking distance when five minutes are left to play in the game. Now Iowa State goes zone. Kansas was working on this yesterday. And I'm going to tell you, Tyrell Reed, eyes are lit up because the ATM machine is waiting for the ball. But you got Marquise Morris right on the other side. And, and then you see the lack of drop off when. The big man goes out, and when Thomas Robinson, Mario Little, sees the Twins on the baseline, finds them. Very difficult pass, very efficient offensive set for Kansas. Again, in case you missed it, to catch you up on news, Ohio State has lost. They lost to the Cold Center to Wisconsin. Christofferson with an NBA three. That's his first point. Also, Thomas Robinson for Kansas. Out for two weeks. Had knee surgery yesterday for torn meniscus. Josh Selby, the freshman phenom, again missing today's game with an ankle injury. And what you're looking for Iowa State is they just want to get this to within 15 14 going in the half. Try to make it a little bit more manageable. Give them a little momentum for the second half. Little at the hunting spot. Easy shot against the zone. 
And it just can't be enough said about Little, a guy that, as I said earlier, could start for any other team, really accepting that role off the bench. And whenever he gets any minutes, he takes it and gladly does whatever he can with it. That's what's important for your basketball team. Garrett drains the three. That's his first points. He had 27 against Kansas and Ames, but he had to take 25 shots to get his 27 points. That old AI line. 30 shots to get 30 points. You, you want it to be a little bit more efficient like the Morris twins, but when you're Iowa State, you really have to take it any way that you can get it. Practice. <laughs> Sean Taylor long on the three. Everybody's wanting a shot against that zone. And here's where Iowa State has got to help some folks and get to the basketball when a guy's used his dribble. A little five out punch and kick game and Markeith Morris. It's off Iowa State. Kansas impressive. They just continue to be the offensive juggernaut leading Iowa State by 18 here at Allen. With an A-plus credit rating in good times and bad, Sun Life Financial should be famous. We're working on it. So you're seriously proposing we change our name to Sun Life Valley? Do we still get to go skiing? Sooner or later, you'll know our name. Sun Life Financial. Speed training. It's how Advance Auto Parts trains our staff to get you the right part even faster. Not bad. The parts you need. Even faster. Advance Auto Parts. Service is our best part. Next! We're willing to bet that whatever's going on in your kitchen right now doesn't hold a candle to what's going on in ours. The good thing is What's ours is yours. What a burger. Just like you like it. Join the Dallas Stars in their quest for dominance in the West. Balls in front, they score! See Brendan Morrow, Louis Erickson, and the return of Jamie Langenbrunner in a trio of games with a Peak 3 plan. Watch any three games with prices starting as low as $30 a game. Plus, you can be ahead of the growing bandwagon and secure Stanley Cup playoff tickets. Kyle Lutton with the ball! Be an instant winner with the Stars Pick 3 plan. Choose a trio of games and save big. Call 214 Go Stars or visit DallasStars.com. Coming up in the Studio 66 halftime report, number one goes down. We'll give you all the highlights of the Buckeyes losing their first game, all the Big 12 scores and highlights. And Baylor, number one on the ladies' side, wins big against Texas. Brittany Griner, huge day. Mitch, Steven. Doug, Doug, that Baylor Lady Bear team is fun to watch. Kim's got a heck of a team, and Griner outstanding in the pivot for that team. And if, if you've got a way to defend Kansas, then uh, Fred Hoiberg will take your text because he's tried everything. Zone, man, Tyshawn Taylor long on that one, and Morningstar with his third offensive rebound of the game. And like I said earlier, that's a shot that this Iowa State defense wants to give up. But Allowing Tyson Taylor to lob it up to Marquise Morris for that easy, efficient dunk shot. Going to make this for a long night for Iowa State. Morris has clobbered Iowa State in Ames. Marcus had 33 and 13 rebounds. Marquise had 17 and 11 rebounds. And Marquise has 12 already today. And Garrett hits a second three. Well, that's one of the things that Iowa State was going to try to do is neutralize the Morris Twins. They haven't been effective in doing that, but most teams want to make sure that the Morris Twins don't get 50 and 24 for them. But this team just has too many weapons. Sean Taylor in an open baseline shot, shoots a changeup. Minute 21 to go. Kansas up big. Jamie Vanderbeeken, the senior pivot player for Iowa State out with an ankle injury. They tell us doubtful return. A sprained left ankle. And I've got these guys again next week, midweek. They go to Texas A&M. They would love to have Vanderbeeken on the plane when they go to College Station. Yeah, he's a guy that's very integral to their offense and 
is going to be very difficult for them to stay in the game with anyone without him out on the perimeter for them. Garrett trying to get a third three. Had him two years ago, but they almost beat Blake Griffin. Hilton Coliseum and Garrett was outstanding in that game. That might have been his best Big 12 game of his career. Morning Stars had a heck of a half. He's only got four points, but all the stuff he's done for this team. I mean, offensive rebounds, facilitating to the post, uh, just hitting open jump shots. But the biggest thing with Brady Morningstar is the ball never dies in his hand. If he gets it, if he doesn't have a shot, he's kicking it to an open teammate, and that's essential for the fluidity of a team's offense. Morning Star is like the Food Channel episode, a hundred different ways to win a game. It's like a walking recipe book. And most of it, a lot of it does not show up in the box score. Last shot of the half, Anderson Reed with the steal. Great play. What a half for Kansas. This is just the way they, they just keep on keeping on. Yeah, they do, and just showing how to run an offense and how to play defense as a unit. KU doing it on all cylinders in the first half versus Iowa State. Doug Bell, Kansas could be number one at the end of the day, and they've got a big Monday game at Manhattan. They are rolling again. Been all Kansas all the time. 45 26, Kansas could be number one at days in. Mitch Holt is back with you along with Stephen Howard. It's hard to even inventory how many weapons Kansas has. Well, that, that's what you're seeing today is just the vast array of weapons offensively that Kansas is displaying today against Iowa State. Let's take a look at our shelter first half highlights. Well, early on in the game, it was a slight glimmer of hope with Vander Beacon doing a little job on the inside and then. All that dashed with the ankle injury that Vanderbeek had, had doesn't look like he's in a return. But for Kansas, what is it that they do not do well? Marcus Morris from the outside. Then you got a, a nice little defensive play by Brady Morningstar and an easy lay-in. And then the simple and efficient lob to Markeith Morris just displaying efficiency for Kansas in the first half. For your auto home and life, seek shelter today. And the first thing Iowa State does is seek a three. And they get it from Scott Christofferson. He's got two three-point makes. In fact, Iowa State's last five made baskets have been three-pointers. But they need a lot more trailing by 16. And I think what's important for Iowa State is just not to think that's the only thing they can shoot. They need to get the best option possible on the offensive end. But they have to stop Kansas. You just can't trade baskets in the second half. Taylor now. With the basket, four of seven. This Iowa State team so close. They had six games, six that they lost as Anderson nails a three. The three point barrage continues. Steven, it's uncanny. They had six, they led a minute, and the three ends it. Holding Star gets his first three of the game. And, and that's really what's hindered Iowa State all year long as they've come down offensively, hit a nice play, hit a big offensive play, but then defensively give up a tip in, a dunk, or a wide open three by Brady Morningstar. Six times, though, they had the leader were tied a minute to go and lost all six games, including last week's game at, uh, with K-State in Hilton. We're talking to Coach Lutz before the game. They've been right where they've wanted to be with a minute to go in all these games. They just have not been able to get over the hump, and just sometimes the ball just does not bounce your way. And yes, Bobby Lutz is on the staff for Fred Hoiberg, former Charlotte head coach. Morningstar likes this. 22 threes this year for Morningstar, 36% from bonus distance. Well, yeah, you just look at Morningstar, last six games, he's been shooting 57% from three, and he's displaying that early on in this game. And what he does so well is he takes what the defense gives him, and if they don't give him anything, he'll pass it with the quickness to one of the Morris twins down low. You saw in our shelter highlights, Jamie Vanderbeeken, an ankle injury in the first half. Won't return. They hope they can get him back for next week's game against Texas A&M. Edgem. 
Found another three, and Rayleigh's got to play with Vanderbeek and out. It almost seems early on that Iowa State just wants to rely on the three-point barrage to get them back into this ball game. Iowa State runs. Anderson, Edgem trails and is rewarded. Kansas 23 and 1, and really only one bad half. And they lost to Texas. Meet the Morris. And as most twins go, they have an uncanny ability to know what the other is going to do. But Marquise with the nice pass, knowing that his brother Marcus was going to cut down the middle. And then Marcus did all the rest, slamming it down just what the crowd asked for. And in the last five and a half games, Marcus Morris has shot almost 75 percent. Kansas with 22 paint points and Iowa State turns it over and take a look. At Philadelphia's finest here. And what Coach Self preaches is get the rock down in the paint. Markeith knows his brother's dashing down the middle, hits it to the other twin, Marcus, and he does all the rest. Efficient basketball at his best. Now Markeith will try three. He's been real good out there. As mentioned earlier, Morningstar looking for offense. Christopherson, nice attack as they push and a foul on Kansas. And I like the fact that Iowa State is being opportunistic with their fast break opportunities. Just the last possession, they scored on the fast break opportunity. This, they saw numbers. Deontay Garrett got it out to Scott Christofferson. Wasn't able to make the shot, but getting good looks in the fast break transition play. Here's Bobby Lutz, longtime coach at Charlotte, highly respected. Fred Hoiberg, who's got all kinds of connections throughout the NBA. And Larry Brown, who used to coach here, of course, won the 1988 National Championship here at Kansas, was one that suggested that Coach Lutz join Fred Hoiberg on his staff. And that's an excellent hire. I really like and respect Coach Lutz and what he was able to do at Charlotte, and I think that was an excellent addition for Coach Hoiberg's staff. There'll be better days for Iowa State. You know, those transfers. <laughs> Be eligible next year. They get Corey Lucius from Michigan State and a foul on Iowa State. In a break zone, Kansas rolling on 55 36. Kansas. We'll be right back after this message from your friends at Phillips 66. Your car works hard for you. Give it the fuel it wants. The hard-working gas from Phillips 66, specially formulated to clean fuel injectors, reduce emissions, and above all, help maximize mileage with every tank. Keep your car satisfied and help maximize mileage with Phillips 66, hard-working gas. So, Benny, I'm proud of you. Welcome to the 21st century. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> You're an E-Trade, hunting down stocks, bonds, ETFs. Oh, I love ETFs. Look at you. Why, why don't you show me your portfolio? I'd love to. I, I already logged out. Oh, no, it's easy, actually, to get back. See where it says history? Well, there's a history? Yeah, it will take you right back to the site that you were just on. Well, so. That last site. And now, cycle complete. The male wildebeest returns to propagate the herd. Can you forward me this link? E-Trade. Investing unleashed. Enjoy a complete seafood dinner for two for just $29.99 at Red Lobster with fresh salads and biscuits, your choice of entrees, and an appetizer or a dessert to share. And soon at Red Lobster. That heart-shaped box of chocolates is everything. That heart-shaped box of chocolates makes it special. That heart-shaped box is tradition. What better gift than a heart-shaped box of chocolates? It's important. It means a lot. Don't give her just any chocolates. Give her Russell Stover chocolates with the famous Russell Stover bow. There's no force like the one that comes from joining forces. No strength like strength in numbers. The kind of numbers delivered by Ram 1500, a 390 horsepower Hemi V8, 20 MPG, a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. Strength in numbers. Now, during Ram Truck Month. 
Get 6560 in total values with a no extra charge Hemi V8 on Ram 1500 Crew Cab Lone Star Edition. Impact performance of the week, the Morris Twins. You think? Look at this combo. 38 points, 6 of 8 for Marquise. Marcus, 7 of 9, plus a lot of those were threes. Those weren't just dunks and tips. So you can log on to CapitalOneCup.com to vote for this week's impact performance. What impresses me the most about that is the fact that both of them have only missed two shots. It just shows the efficient nature of both of the twins and why the offense for Kansas is so good. And today they're 9 of 14 combined. And two threes already knocked down. If you look at Markeith Morris, my question to you, well, first of all, are they the best brother Tannen to play at Kansas at the same time? But then I think that's an emphatic yes. There are another set of brothers that we need to bring up. But are they the best set of brothers in college basketball history, particularly twins? And there's only one other group I think you can put up against them. And who might that be? Well, twins, I think, yeah, brothers. They're in the conversation, and it's it's arguable, but twins, I would say yes. One other set of twins that could take them out. And they had a great NBA career. These two are headed the same way. And let's take a look at the brothers. All right, up 21. These are the Kelly boys. Now, the cats on their jerseys, the Peoria Caterpillars AAU team, that's not K-State, believe me. And they played in the 1952 National Championship team. Machine Gun Kelly, the Kelly boys from McCune, Kansas. The, the only KU brothers, I think, when you go back and look at history, close to Markeith and Marcus. Close. Now, they played on national title team with Clyde Lavelli. Well, fortunately, Mitch, you were around to watch them play, unlike me. So I, I'll just have to go on, you know, your word for that one. You got to turn it into a shot. <laughs> we're doing research here as Marcus Morris continues the brothers' discussion, and there's the Morris twins nearly outscoring Iowa State by themselves. I was fortunate to be able to watch stuff in Technicolor, Mitch, for the most part of my career. So I, I'll have to give you the black and white photos. We have really got to. I got to do something with you. Now we got to play along here. Be nice. Play nice because we've got some other college brothers and twins coming your way. Nice play by Edge. He's getting loose underneath. And you're really seeing really what makes Deontay Garrett so good, able to get into the paint pretty much on everybody in the conversations. One of the top guards in the Big 12, but just doing what he can for Iowa right. State. How about this? This is recent. Taylor Griffin was underrated. Blake Griffin, not underrated. Well, what I can say about this is when you're good enough to get your brother drafted, <laughs> then you have to be put up there because Taylor Griffin was a good player. He was not a guy that should have been drafted in the second round. Uh, Blake Griffin, awesomeness personified. But when you're good enough to get your bro drafted, Christmas gets every year. I love you, man. Whatever you need. Come on. Relaford missing, but now a foul on an offensive uh, rebound by Kansas. Boo Boo Paulo is going to be called for the foul. This is first as Fred Hoiberg is looking for reinforcements, but this is not a deep Iowa State team at all, and they lost Vanderbeek in injury today. Little in line. We're going to continue this brother conversation. I think there's only one really group of brothers that can eclipse the Morris twins at this point and I'm talking not beyond Kansas I'm talking college basketball history so the Griffins you know little's an interesting story the red shirted last year he was the national junior college player of the year at Chipola Community College Kansas does a lot of red shirting actually and with the depth that they've got in talent they'll red shirt I mean little played a year red shirted and now back for a third year to play too basically what really impresses me is just how all these players buy into the Kansas philosophy. What you put on that KU jersey is not about you, it's about the team, it's about the goal of winning championships. And Coach Self is able to do that year in and year out. Apollo air balls. There's only one set of twin brothers that could take the Morris twins out of the history of college basketball. I know you're thinking the Lopez twins from Stanford. No, I am not. Okay, we're going back in time, so. Be courteous. Christopherson not courteous. 
three-point And that's what Kurt Sofferson is able to do, what he did in Marquette. He's always been known as a shooter, uh, displaying that today for the fans in Kansas. But they need more than three-point shots. They need stops on the defensive end. Another guy that transferred into this program from another four-year school. Reed, it's been a while since he scored, so why not flip that switch? I'm really just showing you, hey, you score three on me, then I'm going to go right back at you and score. And I just don't see that defensive commitment. Iowa State kind of has lost that defensive edge they had earlier on in this season. Here it's really good going out the basket, particularly when you can get a ball screen. Now he'll try the three off the feet from Christophers. And that's what you want to give Garrett. You want to give him the three, which makes him very difficult to guard once he locks in from beyond the arc. Iowa State so close to winning against K-State, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma. Marcus Morris. And the onslaught continues as Marcus Morris with a deep catch. They got power, finesse, they'll face you, they'll take you, post you up, they do everything to you. Yeah, really just showing a plethora of offensive moves, but then you get Marquise, a guy that can rebound and block shots. Uh, just a difficult tandem if you're playing against them on the block. Garrett, same spot on the floor. I've got to still think Bill Self's probably grinding on some aspirin over there about him defensively a little bit. Up by 19, they're so good on offense. As a three-point attempt. Relaford's going to the line for three. We come back, I will tell you, maybe the best pair of twins in college basketball history other than the Morrises. training. It's how Advance Auto Parts trains our staff to install your battery fast and free. Battery testing and installation fast and free. Advance Auto Parts. Service is our best part. Wipers, go! breakfast try the new spicy chicken biscuit talk about traditions we talk about the big turkey and the big pernil i call europe a lot italy spain i'm in touch with old friends my mom and i are very chatty that's one of the cool things with vonage it's one set price unlimited calling and that no surprises at the end of the month no annual contract i mean that's that's even better once you try it you're gonna stick with it i'm judy compress and this was my last bill before i switched to vonage Switch your own phone to Vonage today and get unlimited domestic and international calling now with no annual contract. How are those flat rate boxes working out? Fabulous. They gave me this great idea. Yeah? We mail documents all over the country. So what if there were priority mail flat rate envelopes? On yes! You could ship to any state. For a low flat rate? Yes, a really low flat rate. Like $4.95. Yes! It could look like a flat rate box. Only flatter. Like this? You, me. Genius! Genius! <laughs> Priority mail flat rate envelopes, just $4.95, only from the Postal Service. A simpler way to ship. The only thing we haven't had so far today is another flash mob scene that they had here. The Missouri game, Kansas leading Iowa State. Here's your best twins other than the Morrises. Indiana's Van Arsdale twins. Look at the numbers. I know it's black and white. Dick Van Arsdale and Tom Van Arsdale both had great NBA careers. The Morris twins, when you put the numbers up, are closing in on these guys. Well, again, Mitch, I'm going to have to fade in ignorance because, as I said earlier, you were the only one of this duo that was able to watch them uh, in black in 1963. So I'm just going to have to take your word for it. But I'm going with the, the, the Technicolor, the Morris twins. Did they give you anything about respecting your elders at DePaul? 
Did you drive Joey Meyer crazy? You did, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did kind of. Yes, I did. Relaford hits two out of three in Kansas. Christofferson now. Iowa State's just looking three ball every time down the floor. Well, I mean, when you're shooting four for five from beyond the arc like Christofferson is, that's not a bad option. That's really their only option, but they got to stop somebody defensively. Iowa State has 12 threes and more stops. He had 19 against Nebraska, and he had five threes in that game. Well, and you see Coach Self right after Morningstar hits it. He doesn't say congratulations. Congratulations. He yells at him, stop somebody on the defensive end. Never satisfied Coach Self. Think of when it comes to defense. Iowa State has 18 field goals. 12 of those are threes. And Rayleigh, who tried that in the first half, might want to find Christofferson the next time. Well, you just got to realize when you're Coach Self in Kansas, their goal is not to beat Iowa State. Their goal is national championships, and you're going to win that with great defense in, in contrast to just offensively scoring against everybody. And with it gets found from behind. He also places a lot of emphasis on winning the conference. Obviously, he's won six straight Big 12 titles. And would love to win a seventh in a row. They're in a race with Texas. There's no rematch game. They lost to Texas here. Next year there will be. In fact, I do a blog this week on Big12Sports.com. Next year, the Big 12 will be the college basketball conference of February. Because you're going to get rematches. Relevant throws it away. You're going to get rematches up and down. Everybody's going to play everybody twice. And you can check the blogs at Big12Sports.com. And I say next year, it's not too early to look to next year, this conference will be the February conference of college basketball. Can you imagine what a Kansas-Texas rematch would be like this year in Austin? Out of control. I'm really looking forward to that double round robin play. It'll be the only the BCS Power Six conferences that will happen. And you see with Coach Self, the way he's platooning players, bringing in four or five at a time, keeping everybody fresh, but also making you earn your minutes and something that he puts, puts a high premium on, the way you practice and the way you play. Kansas cruising. Iowa State trying to keep their head above water. Christofferson not just a three. That's 16 for him. He has averaged 23 points in his last two games for Iowa State. And that's really what he's added to his game, the ability to put on the bounce. Not only that, but he's a guy that can come off curls and screens and not just be a, a kick-out shooter and a guy that hits it on the trail shot. But again, got to stop somebody. I would say that they want to be in this game or any other games in the Big 12. Just hit the B button. That's Markeith Morris. Click, click, click. Bucket. 73-52 Kansas. Really paints the side of the backboard in Kansas back in a hurry. And you just saw Marquise didn't block the shot, but he's so adept at altering shots. You don't always have to block it, but just get there, make them realize that you're a rim presence. That's what Cole Aldridge did here for Kansas for years. Let's take a look at the assist of the game. It's brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts, where service is our best part. The most efficient play in basketball. Or just getting it to one of the Morris twins. Kansas leads the Big 12 in assists and assists to turnover margin. They share the basketball very well, usually getting right around 18 assists a game. And they're already over that. They're sitting on 19 assists already. This Withy kid is interesting. They were have high hopes for him after transferring in from Arizona. And with Cole Aldrich gone, you mentioned the Morris twins can change shots at the goal. But they're 6'9-ish, 6'10-ish. I mean, Aldridge was six, he was seven foot. A little different when there's a Aldridge or a FAU to a Baylor in there to change or block shots. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing you can't teach is height. And when you got a footer, much no be a seven footer in, that's gonna alter a lot of things and really change the way you play defense. Markeith Morris with a smaller Jake Anderson on him. Reed. Brings a little out of sorts with he wants. It. That's what they want to see out of him, some aggression. And, and when you get a footer with nice touch, like with he displayed on that shot, able to just flip it up with his right hand, you can see the skill set, which has Coach Self and his coaching staff excited. Garrett. 
And Edgem follows. But Garrett now can get to the basket. That's probably the best thing he can do. Yeah, he, he contracts the defense, and that just allowed the rest of the team and Edgem to come in there and get the follow-up tip. Gans is a little emaily with these passes. Iowa State able to get a hand on a couple, and Anderson's foul. That'll put Kansas in the one and one at the 8-10 mark to go in the game. And if there's one thing about Kansas that is a little bit suspect when they get in the game, is their free throws. The charity stride has not been very charitable to Kansas. And when you get into those close games in the Big 12 Conference Championship play and in the tournament, that's going to be the one thing that's going to bite you on your heels. But how about today? They move up. They were 12th in the league at one point. Now they're 10th. But Bill Self's team today, 14 of 17 at the foul stride. A lot of it has to do with getting the right guys there. Yeah, exactly. When you get Tyrell Reed and Morningstar on the line, that's going to bode well for your percentages. Uh, but free throw shooting, just like everything else, is contagious. And when one person misses, the rest will miss. They've done a good job of knocking them down today. Extra pass, Anderson. Out of bounds to Kansas. Kansas looking to be number one by the end of the weekend. Jeff Withy trying to give them some aggression off the bench with Thomas Robinson out with his knee injury. This reminds me of your pool, sir. Yeah, if I only had one statue. <laughs> I'll have that one. Lightly seared. Oh. Garçon. I think I'm going to get this one. I don't think this is for sale. What? He looks a little cold. No, he's fine. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. We're willing to bet that whatever's going on in your kitchen right now doesn't hold a candle to what's going on in ours. The good thing is, what's ours is yours. What a burger! Just like you like it. There's no force like the one that comes from joining forces. No strength like strength in numbers. The kind of numbers delivered by Ram 1500, a 390 horsepower Hemi V8, 20 MPG, a five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. Strength in numbers now during Ram Truck Month. Get 6560 in total values with a no extra charge Hemi V8 on Ram 1500 Crew Cab Lone Star Edition. Do you need a new, exciting, and in demand career? Well, Texas Barber College's super campuses at 9888 Ferguson and 5148 South Lancaster can give you a stable and exciting career. We've been helping students find secure, stable, and in-demand careers for over 46 years. Free enrollment is going on now, and financial aid is available for those who qualify. Don't miss your chance to start a new and exciting career. Call 1-800-NEW-CAREER right now and speak with one of our admission representatives today. This is Doug Bell at Studio 66 down in Austin, Texas. Watch this now. Vintage Texas Longhorns, all predicated on a stifling defensive play. And then Doge Bow Bay, the lob to Tristan Thompson. Very nice, 12-point lead. Mitch, Steven. And Doug, Doge Bow Bay does so much for that team. He was great in this game when they beat Kansas here. But, Doug, you do not have this guy in studio. We have him here. Former United States Senator Bill Bradley, NBA player. But what about his college career at Princeton? You realize he had the most points ever scored in a Final Four game for Princeton. He had 58. I'm giving you history now. I'm, you're learning a lot of history today. Well, was, he, three was he in color or was he in black and white? I just need to just let me know that before you start counting statistics. You're going to get six hours of credit. You're going to write a paper on this. I'm going to kick you out of here. 58 points by Bill Bradley for Princeton against Wichita State. In 1964, that was the most ever in a Final Four game and the second most in the NCAA tournament game. 2,500 career points. He averaged over 30 points in a single season and not a bad public service career. 
But did you read his position paper <laughs> on basketball? <laughs> Wedding Crashers reference. Kansas has been called for six fouls in this game. In the game. We're at the 7.08 mark to go in the game. And Kansas has six fouls. It is not because they're not playing aggressive. They're going at the basket. It's more of Iowa State not playing aggressive defense. Iowa State with a three from Marcus Morris. I mean, it's like pick your poison when it comes to Kansas. You can have your four, your five hit threes. We know Brady and Tyra Reed is very adept from beyond the arc. Just so tough. Stopperson missing, and here comes Reed. The Morrises are scoring with the ease of a summer game. There's times that they have looked as comfortable as a game in the practice jump. And Iowa State now trying to give it their all. Fred Hoiberg trying to keep the ship from what? sinking, and they're going to be way different next year. They got a bunch of guys coming in. There's a three. And Iowa State with really a miniature lineup in right now. Yeah, they have to be one of the shorter teams in the Big 12 with what they have going with Vanderbeek and out of the lineup. And just a team that's overmatched against one of the deeper teams in the country. Morning Stars had a heck of a game. He's going to stay right with it. He's going to chase a miss. And Reed knocks it out off his teammate. Phillips 66 is proud to be presenting sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Next time you're on empty, one thing to do, fill up with Phillips 66 gasoline. Specially formulated to clean fuel injectors, increase performance, and above all, help maximize mileage. Phillips 66, hardworking gas. Brady Morningstar. He also redshirted here in that 08 National Championship season. Played here in Lawrence. Played high school ball in Lawrence for Free State, and then he went to a um, prep school and then came in and also had a redshirt year while he's been on campus. His father, Roger, also played here in the 70s for KU. Edgem set up by Garrett. And that's basically the offensive style of Iowa State. Deontay Garrett penetrating, kicking out to his wide open shooters. They've been able to connect some, but they haven't been able to stop the relentless offensive attack of Kansas. <laughs> Hill Self didn't like the turnover. All he's up by 23. Well, uh, Elijah Johnson made a perfect pass to Coach Self, but unfortunately, Coach Self is not playing anymore. It used up all his eligibility. Win Case used to throw to him at Oklahoma State. Iowa State has 13 three point makes, eight twos, and they've only shot two free throws. They have two ones. Anderson's turn. And the tough thing about that philosophy offensively is when you have a front line like Kansas does that for the most part is going to clean up all the defensive rebounds. You're only going to get one offensive attempt on the offensive side. Relaford no roll but just real hard for Iowa State to get a rebound. As Eric McKnight is in and played that many minutes. Taylor's runners there. And they converse you to let a Kansas team that, as we stated all game long, is very efficiently efficient offensively, giving them two opportunities. That's just not what's going to make it happen for you as a team. I'm telling you, this team did not need Vanderbeek to have that ankle injury. Yeah, I mean, like when I talk to the coaches, Kansas is a team tough to beat with all your horses. They don't really have a lot of horses. They lost their biggest horse. It's a daunting task to beat one of the deepest teams in the country. Another three for Iowa State. 14 three-point makes, and they're trailing by 22. <laughs> and before the game started, this is what I thought would take to stay in the game with Kansas. You got to make it where around 12 threes. Iowa State makes about eight a game. It just shows how offensively powerful Kansas is. Christofferson. And how about this? Melvin Edgem, the freshman, the Canadian. In a style like Tristan Thompson, his fellow Canadian at Texas, able to finish in flush. But a 20-point lead for Kansas, looking to be number one in the country by weekend's end. Now this from Phillips 66. 
Make a U-turn as soon as possible. U-turn. Make a U-turn as soon as possible. Oh, okay. Turn right in 500 feet. Where are you taking Turn me? Right. But we're, Turn we're, right. I did make a... Turn okay, right. I'm supposed to... Turn right. Turn right. <gasps> Turn right. Huh. Phillips 66. Right. Listen to your car. It'll tell you it wants the hardworking gas from Phillips 66. Specially formulated to clean fuel injectors, reduce emissions, and above all, help maximize mileage with every tank. Make your car very happy and help maximize mileage with Phillips 66. Hardworking gas. Sun Life Financial has never taken government bailout money, yet no one knows our name. That's about to change. So you'll pay for the tour, but I have to change my name. No, you're still KC, but from now on, they will be the Sun Life Band. It's funky. Sooner or later, you'll know our name. Sun Life Financial. Red Velvet Cheesecake Blast. Red Velvet Real Ice Cream blended with cheesecake pieces and finished with whipped topping and more cheesecake pieces. This isn't a fling. This is true love. Sonic's Red Velvet Cheesecake Blast. It's new. It's better. It's the new Sonic Good. Shelter Insurance, we're people who know that the first love of your life. I need you to take the shoes off. Might have been made of steel. Thank you. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Mitchell just back with Stephen Howard, Big 12 Network, Kansas by 20. And here's our sixth man of the game brought to you by Motel 6 with Thomas Robinson out for two weeks with his knee surgery. Mario Little has to step up and he step up. He steps up again with eight points after he had the great game against Missouri when he had 17. And that's what you want for your complimentary players. Not only able to step up but ready at all times because you never know when a player is going to be out. And when they are you got to be ready to have your game the A game. Kansas will be at Kansas State for Big Monday. Taylor left alone and says, I'll do this. That's 14 for Taylor. It's five over his season average. And, and like I said earlier, that's the gamble you're going to take for opposing teams. You want Tyson Taylor, you want Johnson, you want all these other guys to take threes. But when they're knocking them down, man, that just makes it literally impossible to defeat Kansas. All hard decisions. 2.44 to go. Fred Hoiberg just trying to keep it going. Hello, ladies. Where can you go when your man smells like me? Close your eyes and I'll show you. Do you feel it? The sand between your toe tips? I do. Surprise! You're on a mountain peak. Why play those sweet shalalas you love to hear? Firework colors turn our world upside down. I hope you like water because we're neck deep in the sweet waters of friendship and trust. You see, when your man smells like the fresh scents of Old Spice, you can go anywhere. Unless, of course, you prefer to stay in. Valentine's Day, a tradition that lets us show our love to those closest to us. This Valentine's Day, give the sweetest of American traditions, the Whitman Sampler Heart. Whitman's, an American tradition since 1842. In sports, when the little guy wins, it's called an upset. When the little guy gets a clean, comfortable room for the lowest price of any national chain, that's Motel 6. Schooled ya. We'll leave the light on for you. Official economy lodging partner of the Big 12. Try the new spicy chicken biscuit. Hi, 
I'm Reese Davis. The journey has begun for the Capital One Cup. At the end of the school year, one men's and one women's Division I athletics program will win this coveted award given to the school with the best on-field performance in NCAA Division I championships. Each winning school will receive $200,000 to fund student-athlete graduate-level scholarships. Follow your school and check the standings at CapitalOneCup.com. Today's Big 12 Network game has been brought to you by Phillips 66, hardworking gas. Whataburger, just like you like it. Sun Life Financial, annuities, employee benefits, life insurance. Champion, it's how you play. Motel 6, the official economy lodging partner of the Big 12. The Capital One Cup. Learn more and check the standings at CapitalOneCup.com. And by Russell Stover Candies, America's favorite Valentine's chocolate. Back at Allen Fieldhouse, number two, Kansas. Drilling Iowa State, 85 to 62. Kansas, number one in the Big 12 in assists. They've had 31 field goals today, 23 assists. They average usually 18 assists per game. They share it and they shoot it. Well, and that's what makes teammates happy is when everybody gets to feel the ball, touch the ball, an opportunity to shoot the ball, everyone's going to be happy, especially when you're going up and down the court as quickly and efficiently as Kansas does. Again, Iowa State a long afternoon. They were hanging in there early, and then Iowa, Kansas hit them with one of those knockout punch runs. Really nice little move going over the left shoulder. Rayleigh's got four points. You're nice. You need a lot more than nice when you're going against <laughs> KU. You need a lot of nice. Elijah Johnson. Christopherson disdains the three. And an outstanding tip by another freshman, Eric McKnight. Eric McKnight. And that's what Coach Hoiberg is doing. They're building for the future. I mean, we already talked about the four people they have transferred that is going to give them exceptional uh, offensive opportunity next year. And so this is just a learning opportunity. You want them to remember, learn from the losses, and just try to work on something bigger and better for next year. Ruthie tries to read the double. And this is going to be off. McKnight, Kansas with people. Earlier we showed you one Big 12 tradition brought to you by Champion. Well, what's your favorite? You can vote on your favorite tradition in the Big 12 by going to Facebook.com backslash champion and clicking on the poll tab. Again, that's Facebook.com backslash champion and click on the poll tab. Is Christopherson right now? No. And Jordan Juneman comes into the game now, one of the student favorites. With the, he's had a couple nice offensive plays. Had a little half hook, now he goes the other way for a turnaround. Hey, over right shoulder, nice little fadeaway jump shot. And when you got a seven footer that can do that, shows a lot of promise. Juneman with the rebound, and the students hope he dribbles to the other end and launches it. Yeah, but students and fans don't realize how difficult it is to sit on the bench for an entire game and then just turn it on. Your muscles are cold your hammies are cold you just don't want to rip something apart on your body well, he was good yesterday at practice in fact when self was chewing on him for not defending substitution and it's going to be a substitution timeout, timeout for kansas as nico roberts will come in number 20 but juniman kept making shots and you could see the starters going dude quit making shots right We're getting our butt right. All right here's our most valuable player of the game brought to you by sonic marcus morris a candidate actually for national player of the year yeah, I mean, I, I look at him, and there's nothing that he doesn't do well. Shoot the three. He can back you down on the block over each shoulder. Rebound, dunk. I mean, he's the complete package, and he's going to be playing in another league very soon. With he ties his career high. He had eight against Longwood, and now ties it with eight in this game. And Iowa State's put Austin McBeth in the game. Shakespeare's favorite player inside Rayleigh. <laughs> I can quote wedding crashes, but I'll leave Shakespeare to you. Dude, you got more history today than you got in all your years at DePaul. And here's something less historic. Kansas is going to win again convincingly at home. Bill Self is a remarkable 57 and 4 
at home against the Big 12 as they smoke Iowa State 89 to 66. And should be number one in the country after the weekend with Wisconsin losing. Earlier, I'm sorry, Wisconsin beating Ohio State. Ohio State previously unbeaten, lost to Wisconsin earlier today. And it just was a, an exceptional display of offensive prowess by Kansas and their ability to lock down Iowa State, much be noted as well. Uh, something to build upon for Coach Bill Self. And an offensive juggernaut right now, Doug Bell. Kansas continues their torrid shooting pace. We'll check in with Studio 66 once again to get you caught up. Kansas with the big win over Iowa State. All right, Mitch, thank you again, Kansas. Uh, Iowa State totally out, man, today. Uh, from Kansas, the get-go. Yeah, and they're the new number one team next week. Yeah, I mean, from the very beginning, Iowa State didn't have an answer, and it's interesting because Bill Self emphasized defense so much yeah. this week in practice. Spent a couple of days talking about nothing but defense, and starting out the games, the Jayhawks were smothering down on the defensive end. A good, well-balanced game and just a business-like approach for the Kansas Jayhawks. And again, we all expect them to be named the number one team in the country Monday morning when we wake up and look at the polls. We saw Thomas Robinson limping there at the end. He's in street clothes, had that surgery on his knee, a meniscus tear, and that's that's a three or four week deal. I know Mark Ingram, the Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama, had that, missed a, a good four weeks. Selby also is still not the same with that stress reaction to his foot. I mean, how good are they without these Well, two and Tyrell Reed's yeah. limping. He's had a little bit of a foot problem. And really, it was a big game. Jeff Withy contributed. He's going to have to contribute again. Mario Little had 17 points, a career high against Missouri. Had a solid game, not spectacular. But again, none of those guys need to be spectacular. They just need to be solid and to give Marcus and Markeith a breather whenever needed. Uh, Josh Selby needs to get well. Tyrell Reed needs to get well. And not necessarily to stay in the number two seed for the Big 12, but when you start talking about the NCAA tournament, Bill Self, that's his strength is having all this depth, and so he needs those guys to get well. All right, he'll have some time, but it looks like next, next week again, they will be the hunted as yes, the number one team in the land. Let's go back out to the fog, and Stephen is standing by with Bill Self. Stephen? Yeah, and Doug, Mitch Holtis back along with Stephen Howard and Coach Bill Self. Man, you roll another opponent. Bill, you guys are so good offensively right now. What is making you at that good offensively that level? Uh, you know, we're just sharing the ball. The guys are, uh, you know, we, we, we don't, I don't know if we have a great passing team, but we got guys that like to pass, and, and primarily the twins. I mean, uh, uh, anytime you're two big guys combined for eight assists in the game, and, of course, it happens quite often. It, it kind of sets the stage for everybody else. But we're sharing the ball, and guys are making shots, so they got us extend and then you can throw it inside and play behind that but uh, you know uh, I'm more concerned about how we're guarding on the other end because I don't think we're still guarding very well. Well that's what I wanted to ask you coach yesterday you were preaching defense this morning you were harping on defense was this an exceptional defensive uh, game that you're satisfied with. I thought we actually guard them pretty good early you know it's they shoot so many threes they shot 32 threes against us the first time I think or 31 and they shot 32 again tonight. And, you know, if they make nine, you've got a great defensive effort. If they make 14, it's average. And so, uh, you know, we got to do a better job of guarding the ball because they beat us off the bounce to force, force help too much and shoot threes. But but uh, I thought we defended them pretty well the first half. The second half, I didn't think we did quite as good a job. There's the one inbounds play. They set the back screen. I know I said you don't want to be in the tape room to watch that play with Coach. But Well, that was Morningstar's <laughs> fault. We'll talk about Brady. That was his fault for not covering the basket. But uh, but also Marcus didn't do a very good job on that. But, you know, it, it's a uh, uh, – Guys are just sharing the ball, and of course Brady has been a uh, a big key for us here of late because he's knocking down shots. You know, he's our best perimeter feeder and our best post feeder, and things are kind of clicking around him. Bill, one final question: Wisconsin beat Ohio State earlier today, first loss for the Buckeyes. You'll be number one. Your thoughts about that as you go into next week? Well, I, somebody's got to be number one, and and uh, I'm not sure that we deserve that. Uh, the team that'll be number two, you know, uh, kicked our butt in this building. So uh, I, th I think that they've been the best team in the country since Christmas uh, uh, and, and that's Texas but it's good for our league that we got two teams ranked high and, and uh, the last time a number one team went to a I mean went to Bramlage uh, they got beat if I'm not mistaken which was Texas last year sure, so yeah. so you know I if we get it we get it it's no big deal to me but but uh, uh, I just want to keep our team to keep getting better and I, I, I know I, I know we need to be really physically and mentally ready to play on Monday to have a good chance over there you might be the best team in the country though since that game. Since that we played pretty good offensively since then. You know, yeah. we, our like team is uh, 
you know, we still don't have Josh and Thomas out there and uh, uh, our team has really rallied around T Thomas's situation and we've become a team. I mean we weren't a team before we were we were individuals that pretended kind of to be the team like all teams go through Steve you know and there's some point in every season where you have an opportunity and that was our opportunity to become one and and we took advantage of that in, 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 a, in a in a strange way and so hopefully uh, hopefully we can rally around these injuries again with Josh and and with Thomas and and uh, rely on our bench to keep giving us good minutes. Well great day today. Congratulations. All right. Thanks. Bill Self head coach of the Kansas Jayhawks. Large margin victory today over the Iowa State Cyclones again. Thomas Robinson did not play because of the uh, knee surgery and then um, also Josh Shelby missing this game but hang on. We got Brady Morningstar coming in. This is like a call in show man or we got our own little talk show going on. <laughs> I talked to you yesterday about defense and you said the red shirt year made such a big difference today you were knocking down shots. But what about this team you being a leader as a fifth year senior. Where's this team at right now because you guys since the Texas game have been really really good. I think we're playing OK right now but um, there's certain things we need to work on obviously uh, and um, every day in practice coach uh, lets us know that that we're a good team but we're not good enough yet to to do things we want to do in the, the postseason so we're just going to keep working every day and uh, keep improving. Hey Brady the last six games you've been shooting 67 percent from three. How is it that you're able to stay consistent like that uh, not knowing if you're going to be a starter or coming off the bench. You just got to stay aggressive and, and keep knowing that um, the next shot you shoot is going to go in. If you don't shoot the ball it's not going to go in. So you just got to stay aggressive and uh, when your teammates are getting you the ball and you're hitting and you're hitting shots uh, when you get on a roll it's kind of it's, it's kind of fun. So uh, I feel pretty good right now but I also have to give it to my teammates for giving me the ball. Brady you guys were good today and did not have Thomas Robinson or Josh Selby but it didn't matter today Doug Bell Kansas looks like they'll be number one in the country when this evening ends. Mitch thanks uh, coach Sell said it best it's great for the league uh, they're gonna have the number one and number two teams in the country next week. Well, let me tell you what he said best is the way they shared the ball 24 assists on 33 made field goals terrific team basketball down on the offensive end. All right Ohio State they lost that's why Kansas will be number one let's take it to Madison Wisconsin. And check out the action. Jordan Taylor with a miss. Aaron Kraft with the rebound. Here comes the fast break. William Buford open. And it appeared at this moment the Buckeyes were totally in control. Yeah, of the up game. by 15 in a game. And then all of a sudden, you know, Jared Solinger's getting lobs from up high. And it looked like Ohio State was going to roll. And then all of a sudden, Wisconsin just turned it on, went on a 33 to 12 run, mainly behind three point shooting. Jordan Taylor had 21 points in the second half. But listen to this, Doug Bell. Wisconsin plus 27 point differential from behind the three point line. 12 three point field goals made as opposed to just three for Ohio State. That was your basketball game. Mike Brusowitz hit the one that did him in, the Buckeyes, 24 and 1. And Wisconsin not only beats the Buckeyes in the basketball court, but remember in the football season they did it when they were number one. And that's a list of all the schools who've beaten number one in both football and basketball in the same season. Pretty good list. Yeah, really. That's a that's a nice historic list. But let me tell you something, that was no fluke. Ohio State has not beaten Wisconsin in Wisconsin while Bo Ryan's been the coach now. That has been the coach. It's 0-7, so that game did not surprise me at all. Baylor in Texas is happening right now on ESPN. Rick Barnes trying to snap that four game skid against Baylor. Remember it was a 24 game winning streak for Texas and then inexplicably they lose four in a row. And Quincy AC always plays hard but Texas really had it flow in that first half. Uh, Jacobin Brown was a nice spark off of the bench shooting threes and attacking the basket defensively as you might expect Texas has been terrific but Baylor's not going away in this game they're still in striking distance. Here we come second half Doge Bay the lob and you're right Baylor now has it eight point game five minutes to play so we'll see what happens in that one not over yet. Not over yet and Baylor has had lots of opportunities to go away in this game. Texas was dominating them. The last Darius Dunn only had four points at halftime. Texas probably had six, seven, eight blocks in the first half and they were manhandling Baylor. Baylor got an intentional foul. A.J. Walton, the bench got a technical, kind of provided a little bit of a spark for Baylor and they are certainly still in this game. This surprises me. I, I, Baylor has been very resilient in this game. 
Earlier today on the Big 12 Network, Missouri at home against Oklahoma. Mizzou looking to even their record. Mike Anderson to 5-5 five and five in Big 12 play. And playing on this court with a packed house and the energy they get in that building, they're just a different basketball team. Justin Safford knocks it down. Oklahoma hung in there. I mean, this is a tough team, and they've certainly gotten better under Jeff Capel, but just not enough talent to match up well, with this is day. a scary play you see Bowers come down on the face of Marcus Denman and he was hurt bad a bad you see all the blood hurt his nose got a cut and at the end just too much Missouri Tigers for the Oklahoma Sooners Sooners just kind of ran out of gas they play those starters about 37 minutes per game just couldn't stick with them also today in the Big 12 Network Mark Turgeon and the Aggies looking for their second road win in a row Wednesday the one at Colorado Dash Harris the breakaway, the slam, 46-37. But here comes John Robertson and company. 65-63, Tech actually took a lead. And then David LeBeau, Mr. Steady. That turn around with the jump hook. This puts AM up by two. Texas Tech's John Robertson has a shot off the baseline out of bounds plays, misses it as time expires. AM wins another close one after the great overtime win in Colorado earlier this week. How about what to watch for tonight, Reed? A couple of games left, Oklahoma State and Nebraska. Well, no Darrell Williams for Oklahoma State. Travis Ford is going to have to go with a four-guard offense. Good opportunity for Nebraska. Brian Jorge, Diaz, Jorge Brian Diaz and also Brandon Ubel dominate inside. Kansas State, Colorado tonight, ESPNU. Uh, Alec Burks has been outstanding. 24 points in the last game. Jacob Pullum has led Kansas State in scoring the last six games. This is a must win, really, for both of these teams. Kim Mulkey has the best team in the country on the women's side, not only in the Big 12, but good. the country. They have the best player. Uh, Brittany Griner is unstoppable. Yeah, how good was she in this basketball game? Brittany had 23 points at halftime. Texas had 22. <laughs> she dominated this game. Finished the game with 29 points. And, boy, the Baylor Bears really put it on the Lady Horns. 96-68. Most points Baylor scored against Texas. You have to go back to 1977. That is a get it out of here. Yeah, it is. Go back to Austin. Louisville wins at home. Notre Dame. These are men's scores, by the way. Notre Dame, top 10. Winning a lot of road games. They're having a special season. Vandy gives Kentucky another loss. The Cats are 5-5. Five and five. And how about Carolina winning the squeaker? Well, Syracuse is falling apart. I believe they're 2-6 and six in their last eight games, and they are really on the skids. Hadn't won a game in Louisville in 14 years. All right, again, we're wrapping up what has been a fun day. Kansas State tonight. It's a big game. In Colorado, for both teams, it's huge. Well, at the beginning of today, we talked about the teams in the middle of the standings. Had a little bit of separation. A big win today for Texas A&M. They were in the middle there. This is a big game for Kansas State. It's a chance for them to unify. They've had a little bit of an addition by subtraction without Wally Judge. A good time for them emotionally. They got Curtis Kelly back. The school ruled that he's eligible to play. This is a big game for both these teams. All right, let's check the score now. You mentioned it earlier. Baylor is not going away. Texas had an opportunity to really bury him. I mean, just stomp him down. But here comes Baylor now. Down by only four, Reed. Well, Lace Darius has heated up, knocked down a couple of shots. And, boy, late in the game, they got a, they, they got a contest in Austin. Coming up next week, it all begins at 1230 with Studio 66. And then again, some of you will see Missouri and Iowa State. And the other half of our audience will see Texas against Nebraska. That's in Lincoln. That'll be a tough game for the Longhorns. And then our 3 o'clock game, Oklahoma against Kansas State. Nice matchups. That's all next week on February 19th. Don't forget Valentine's Day, guys. Go out and get your uh, lady something special. We want to say thanks to all the folks here at the Big 12 Network. This has been a special presentation of ESPN Regional, the worldwide leader in sports.